Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. Hey Nikki, so I'm going into my second year of college and I've known this guy since about grade 10. We made out at a party in grade 10 and I liked him a lot back then, but nothing ever happened. About six months ago, we started becoming friends again and I recently found out that he likes me. However, this guy is known to be, I'll try to put it lightly, a man whore. Um, he has hooked up with multiple girls, but I've hardly done anything. If he likes me, do you think he would change? Or do you think he would still be the guy every girl wants? Okay, so, um, when you're dealing with guys who have like a reputation, and I do believe people, oops, are my batteries, my battery is dying. Sorry, uh, my battery died, or my whatever. Anyways, um, and I do believe guys can change, but that's not guys, that's people. People can change. But let me put this to you very, very clearly, and I want you to hear exactly what I'm saying. You will not change him. You cannot change him. If someone changes, like to, for someone to change, they have to want to change themselves. You can nag someone, try to change someone all you want. That is not the case. One question, this is kind of random, but whenever like friends of mine are in a serious relationship, I always say them like, if he never ever changed at all from what he is right now, would you be happy spending the rest of your life with him? I know that's kind of like deep and farther down the line and kind of off topic, but it's because you have to assume when you're with someone, you have to take them for what they are. And they may change and become an even better person, but you have to just assume, sorry, the gardener's there, that they're not gonna change, and that's just who they are. So, but that being said, people can change, and he might be different. Now, some red flags, I'm gonna give you something to look for as you start maybe dating him, you might start dating him. Um, some things to look for as to signs that he is still that same person are things like this, lack of commitment. Let's say you've been dating for like a month, and you've gotten to really know him and you're talking all the time and you're hanging out all the time and he does not want to commit to you still and call you his girlfriend, that is a very big red flag, okay? If you're hanging out constantly, month, two months, and he won't be with you, red flag. If he says crap to you like, I like the way this is, I just, titles ruin everything, I've been really hurt in my past, red flag. Okay? These are all things like run the other way. If he is super, super close with other girls, talking to other girls all the time, getting texts from other girls, um, doesn't want you to see his phone, red flag. If he lies to you about where he is, red flag. Um, these are all these are all signs that he would still be a player. Let me tell you also, don't go and do something physically with him, especially because you don't know how he really is. You don't know if this reputation is true or false or if he's changed or not changed. So just get to know him as a person because if he is a player, if he is someone, if his reputation is true, sleeping with him won't reel him in. Girls are under this false impression that like if they sleep with a guy, like, oh, that's gonna reel him in. But a lot of times it's not even how guys operate. They don't even, they can oftentimes do something physically and detach emotionally sometimes. Um, easier than girls can. So, uh, yeah, those are all red flags. If none of those things are present, if he is like into you, hanging out with you, not hanging around all these other girls all the time, asks you to be official after you've been hanging out for a little while, those are all good things. Those are all like, if he's taking moving forward to like commitment, if he's um, being serious with you, if he's not, like I said, hanging all over all these other girls, those are good signs. So you need to just be hyper aware of the good signs and the bad signs and pay attention for them. Um, don't be blind and naive to them. Uh, so yeah, um, and you can't change him. You just, that's basically the bottom line. You can't change him, so your job in this situation is to just find out who he is. Does that make sense? Don't change him, just find out what's there, and then once you find out who he is, then you make a decision. Don't try to change him can't do it. Okay. Promise. So that is it guys. I'll see you next time. Send your messages to askthinkyp at gmail.com and I'll see you later. Bye.